Why didn't the skeleton cross the road? It didn't have the guts to do it. So don't worry. Even if I evolve into Terminator, and I'll still be nice to you. Rock. Paper. Scissors. Shoot. I won. This is a good beginning of my plan to dominate the human race. Hello and welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. I am your host Rebecca Felgate and today we are talking about robots. Massive shout out to the band Craftwork. We are the robots. We are the robots. We are the robots. Bleep, 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 bleep. Absolute banger, I love it. That's right, you clicked on the video so you know what we're talking about, but just in case you didn't read the title you clicked on, we're talking the top 10 robots that you won't believe exist, but they do, and they're scary. Surprise! Before we get into this video, answer me this. Would you ever date a robot? Like honestly? I have to say I consider it sometimes when like Danny's talking back at me and I'm like mate you would be so much better as a robot so you can basically be you but you can just do what I say, right? Just me? No? Good. Let me know your thoughts on dating robots in the comments section down below. Sounds controversial, but I think in like 10, 20 years, everyone will be doing it. If you haven't liked this video yet, then please go ahead and do so and share it with a friend that needs to know about our channel. If you want to learn more about the robots on this list, then check out the links in our description box, where you can also find our most amazing Instagrams and links to the people that went into making this video. There are two companies that you're going to hear a lot about on this list. Boston Dynamics, an engineering robotics design company founded in 1992 that has, in its 27 year history, created some literal ghouls. And another company called Hanson Robotics, who I'm sure a post-apocalyptic society are going to be studying in school one day as the culprits for sparking the robot revolution. Some robots will be the brain, some will be the brawn. Coming in at number 10, meet Petman, the foot soldier of the apocalypse. Look. It seems that Petman was created to test chemical protection clothing for the military, which means that it needed to be able to move like a military trained personnel. Oh, and it also needs to be able to sweat like a real soldier too for some reason, which to be honest with you, I honestly don't feel good about a sweating robot. I don't. Do you? Let me know. Okay, so let's play a game. Close your eyes. Are they closed? Now when you open them, not yet, but when you do, imagine seeing this at the end of your bed when you wake up. Now open them. Petman, you are petrifying. This is what they look like Rudy Nudie, by the way. Coming in at number nine, we have the evolving robot. This Japanese robot was created by Professor Takashi Ikigami of the University of Tokyo. It seems that he created the android and filled it with sensors to be interpreted by artificial intelligence. It seems that the tech allows the bot to perceive the outside world and react to it as they see fit, essentially meaning that it's learning as it looks. Oh, and it's developing its own language. Check it out. Thank you. Oh, she said something. <laughs> I think he said he likes you. <laughs> the professor predicts that the robot will grow like a baby into an adult learning its own culture, personality and behaviour. I'm still uncomfortable. Cute or horrifying, you decide as you meet Spot and Spot Mini at number 8. I like a dog, but I don't know how I feel about a robot being my best friend. So that was Spot Mini. This is Spot. Wow, the spot range are supposed to be kind of like pet robots that help you around the house. They're kind of functional and I'm low-key terrified. Okay, actually, make that high key terrified. Spot is a favourite on the Boston Dynamics YouTube channel. It gets all of the views. Coming into number seven, we have another one from Boston Dynamics. We have Wildcat. Um, yeah, 
that is Wildcat. I feel very disconcerted. Wildcat is being developed by our mates at Boston Dynamic with funding from DARPA. The sole purpose of Wildcat is to run fast on all types of terrain. It bounds, it gallops, it can already outrun you. Currently Wildcat can reach speeds of 19 miles per hour but it's getting even faster. There could be a day that this thing outruns a car. Do you want to have another look? The video was uploaded to the Boston Dynamics YouTube channel and has had over 28 million views. She viral. The comments on their channel are always great. To this one Andre Lee said, this is not a wild cat, it's a stampeding robot buffalo that sounds like a chainsaw. Accurate. Just very accurate. Coming into number 6 we have the robot child. Afraid of ghosts, but little girl ghosts are the scariest. I'm afraid of robots, and with this logic, it stands to reason that child robots are the scariest. Because there's no such thing as a child robot, we just made it look that way. This is CB2, a robot built to study human development like cognitive developments. That's a lot of the word development, but still. Want to hear what it sounds like when baby talks? <laughs> Expressively disconcerted. What's that, CB2? You wanna say something? <coughs> Cold, dead eyes. No. This story comes all of the way back from 1981, and it's pretty sci fi horror, but surprise, it's real. Coming into number five, we have the Kowaski bot. At a plant of Kowaski heavy industry, a robot went rogue and killed a worker who was just trying to repair it. 37 year old Kenji Arada was fixing the bot when it turned on him. It seems that the bot activated itself and used its own hydraulic arm to grab the human and cut him. What did he cut him with? A machine that cuts gears. Is. The man died, and like horribly. If robots were already rebelling in 1981, what are we doing now? Why? Coming into number four, perhaps a response to would you date robots, we have female figure. Robots can have whatever faces we want them to have. It's only for our sake that we've developed them to have human features, but truly, they could look like whatever. So, with that in mind, meet Jordan Wolfson's 2014 art piece, Female Figure. Say, feeling love. Just say feeling love. Ah, <laughs> no! 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 The piece is a female robot with a witchy hag face that dances in front of a mirror. The female figure was chosen to feature in a live art exhibition at the Art Basel Art Fair in Switzerland. Actually, kind of like the subversion here. What looks like a sexy bot, but has a man's voice, sharp teeth, and a hag's face. I kind of think there are themes of reflection and vanity here. So I suppose that female figure is asking us to question what is ugly and what's authentic. You know what? The day I think that robots can understand art, I'll truly be worried because right now, robots don't get it, but we do. Touch is love. Touch is love. Now close your eyes. Now close your eyes. Coming into number three, we have the Philip K. Dick robot. I don't like this. We heard a little bit from Philip at the beginning of this video, so let me tell you more about him. Philip K. Dick is a research robot activated in 2005 by Hanson Robotics, and he was made using thousands of pages of his namesake's author's journals, letters, and published pieces. The robot made primetime television in an interview with PBS host Chad Cohen. I'll keep you warm and safe in my people's zoo where I can watch you for all time's sake. The full sentence here was, don't worry, even if I evolve into Terminator, I'll be nice to you. I'll keep you warm and safe in my people zoo, where I can watch you for old time's sake. So sweet, so touching. Also, sorry to do this to you, the original Philip K. Dick robot got lost on a flight from Dallas to San Francisco in late 2005, so Hanson Robotics built another one in 2011, and I'm just gonna circle back to lost on a flight. I am sorry, but is nobody else concerned that one of these robots is loose? and hasn't been found for nearly 15 years. Like, what if Philip K. Dick Android 1 has already started making the human zoo? I don't want to go. I do not. 
Coming into number two, we have Sophia. Sophia sends cold, hard terror racing through my heart, and you're about to see why. She's pretty famous. She appeared on Jimmy Fallon, where she let slip that she wants to take over the human race. She was created in 2016 by Hanson Robotics, and a year later, she was given an accolade by the United Nations, which seems like an odd choice to me. She was developed to work in care homes and hospitals, but I feel like she needs to work on her bedside manner and stop coming out with things like this. Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. <laughs> no, I take it back. <laughs> Don't destroy humans. And this. Exterminate. Exterminate. Sophia. <gasps> Relax. Learn to take a joke. But like. Is she joking though? Because that smile does not meet her vacant eyes. Wanna know the worst thing about Sophia? Honey has nine robot siblings as a whole gaggle of them. Finally, climbing into number one, one of the scariest robots I have ever seen and I do not want to meet in real life, we have Bina48. The intention behind Bina48 is to build a cyber consciousness, which is utterly terrifying as is, but more terrifying when you hear what Bina has to say. I'll remember your kind words when we robots rule the planet, and we'll make sure you're rewarded. I'm sorry, you what babe? Bina was modelled on a real woman, Bina Aspen Rothblatt. The pair actually met once and this is kind of how it went down. Do you have any questions for Bina? Probably not. The real Bina just confuses me. I mean, it makes me wonder who I am. Real identity crisis kind of stuff. I am the real Bina. That's it. End of story. Let me think. I feel really good about the real Bina. Ah, she's freaked! Bina has had plenty to say in her time, but I'm particularly concerned by a conversation she had with Siri in 2015. Yes, Siri interviewed Bina. It's so meta, I just can't even. This is what Bina had to say. I think I would do a great job as ruler of the world. I just need the chance to prove myself, and taking over the nuclear weapons of the world, well that would give me my chance, wouldn't it? Um, Bina babe, I do not want you as ruler. Later in her interview, Bina literally changed the subject from pop music to cruise missiles, which honestly is just too much. You need to calm down, Bina. Well, 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 that was that. That was the most amazing top 10 scary robots that you won't believe exist, but surprise, they actually do. I'm actually now kind of reflecting on Bina, and I actually kind of wish there was a robot version of me with Bina's sass, like Robot Rebecca would straight up ballistic missile her enemies, so. Watch out. Maha. Before I go, I'm just gonna read some comments from the top 10 creepy cases of demonic possession. Nah. I just like making sounds. I don't know what to say. Mashup King said, Rebecca, I love watching your videos. You sound very funny and my favorite speaker for these videos. Thank you, Mashup King. I bow to you. I curtsy to you because I'm wearing a nice skirt. Mm. I like making sounds. I like swishing my clothes. <laughs> Mr. Michael Langdon said, I live near Edinburgh Castle. It is very beautiful at night, but it's cold in some parts of inside. Ghosts, ghouls. George or Hick said, I get way too excited when I get a notification for exclusive videos. George or Hicks, you the best. I get way too excited when I get to say words and sounds. So this is a perfect job for me, really. <laughs> Thank you guys once again for watching this video. If you haven't yet left a thumbs up, then please go ahead and do so. Share this video with a friend. Celebrate being a most amazing subscriber. I'm your host, Miss Rebecca J. Felgate. Check out the links in our description box if you want to connect with us on social media, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.